today I'm in the kitchen and I would like to share with you three different techniques that I apply on this cake. Super easy, super simple. Let's go see how I did it. I'm gonna start by kneading the fondant with some AmeriColor, it's mint green. Add as you wish and incorporate. Now it's even and I have the color that I am looking for. It should look like this when you're done kneading it. For this particular cake, I am rolling super thin as much as I can and I will use this particular cutter. I'm going to separate the pieces, make sure you save the rest of the fondant and roll again as thin as you can. Previously, I measured with the rule two inches with any tool that you have, just mark straight lines. With a Wilton ball tool, I'm reshaping the shapes I just cut, slowly putting pressure into the cake. This is the last of the line that we marked. This is how we will finish and close the last of the ruffles. And here I have a Wilton mat, which I'm gonna measure and trace with an edible pencil. I am going to cut. I'm using two types of different colors of edible food. You may use the ones according to your cake needs. I will let it dry. Now I'm gonna cut by hand, freestyle, it doesn't have to be perfect. As soon as I have all the pieces that I wish, I'm gonna come with piping gel and start covering the two inches that I have left that I previously measured. I'm gonna do a freestyle. As soon as I'm satisfied how it looks, I will stop and then move on to the other technique. I already pre-cut two inches of wafer paper. So here they are. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start cutting freestyle on one side of the two inch wafer paper. For my next technique, I'm going to start by placing my wafer paper with piping gel. If you noticed, on the right side, we will keep the ones that I cut by hand freestyle. On my left, I wanna put the cuts that I did with my scissors. That way I have that feather effect. I'm going to finish closing the cake while I do this. I am going to add a stone lace. Make sure you tell your customers it's non-edible for everybody's safety. When we're done, we're going to start cutting the edges of our wafer paper. Yes, start tapping carefully so we can adjust the paper to the fondant and keep cutting. It doesn't have to be even and whatever little paper is left on top of your cake, don't remove it, it just looks gorgeous. It makes it look more natural and a feather effect. As soon as you're done, we're gonna add our Lila. Yes, this is a Lila. Whoa, right? I will leave the tutorial on the description box. It's a Lila, we just painted it silver. Wow, and we're all done. Thank you for being here in my kitchen with me. I am Chef Carla and I will see you in our next video.